I felt really, he's really warm-hearted, matured guy at 20, 24 years old. Uh -huh. And his name is Hashimoto Koji, and he lived in Nagasaki, where the atomic bomb dropped. So. I don't know how to express my happy feelings to go back home. My father, mother, sister, and brothers were so pleased to see me, but I was much happier than them. After spending three days with my family, I went back to the Marine. His family lived in Nagasaki, and he has six brothers and sisters. I spent the last day of 1942 at Yokosuka Marine Corps. In the morning, we prepared for the new year, and in the afternoon, we did private cleaning up. I feel that I had been dreaming since I participated in the Hawaii attack. I pray to God to make me a strong soldier and fight to the fullest in the battles. Also, I pray to God for my family for their good health and happy lives. We have to realize that responsibility and have to win this war. When I think of my family in Nagasaki, thinking if everyone is having a nice time, I miss them. But it's really nice of your father to keep this diary and show me or show us to share his feeling. And this is really nice, like a souvenir for the peace. How do the Japanese people view Americans now after World War II? Well, it's a really interesting question, even as a, I, I'm Japanese. And because the Japanese government changed dramatically, so dramatically changed their, um, their, their what do you call it, will or government policy toward Americans. So after the war, we all loved American things because American is so wealthy and that after the war we didn't have anything and so we have to start from nothing so we just followed America as a model country but, but still so many people have some very hard feeling toward Americans policy uh, because of atomic bomb they don't need to bomb historically that people who live there is still really bitter feeling toward America. But generally, generally speaking, we are the friend right now. It's not an enemy anymore. Sixty years later, we are good friend. Did you know anybody that fought in the war? Uh, my father went to the war. He came back <laughs> with a um, um, wounded um, leg, but he's okay. But he never told about the war at all, so I don't know much about it. And our generation, we don't know, actually.